Being comfortable being you. There's a statistic I hear over and over again. Over 90% of all businesses close within their first year. The more I learned about the statistic, the more it made sense. For in every industry, it's not just anyone who becomes successful, but the ones who do the things others refuse to. Like what I do isn't hard by any means. Still, I come across people who act as if it's high risk brain surgery, when in fact, all it takes is consistency. As I write this to you, I am here in Bangkok excited to see the sunrise. I could easily give you an excuse and not write this blog post. I don't share my soul with you because I'm forced to. I do this because I know, without a shadow of a doubt, if you want results in your home business, regardless of what it is, it's possible if you are willing to listen. The more I observed successful people, I began to see how they stood apart from the masses. It wasn't the clothes they wore or the car they drove, but the way they applied focus to everything they did. Some of the wealthiest people I know live the most humbly, driving family-style cars and wearing flip-flops. You'd never know they make six figures on a monthly basis anyway. As I evolved, the more I had no desire to be one of the masses. It was that decision to stand apart from the rest that I took as my life's mission to help humanity do the same. Being my family is from Haiti, it was on a family vacation there that I learned how Haitian liqueur was made from sugar cane. My childhood was not all rainbows and unicorns. I had a parent who drank heavily each and every night straight liqueur. Although he would drink at home and not in the bars, the damage he inflicted lasted my lifetime. I remember once being thrown out of the house after one of the worst beatings in my life. My mouth was bleeding, my hair had been ripped out, my gums were weak from being punched in the face and the tears would not stop falling from my eyes. I walked alone at night bleeding with very minimal clothing and no money asking God why me. As if that wasn't enough damage, he went to every single person I knew and told them how horrible of a person I was and anyone who let me in would have the police called on them. I knocked on every friend's door but their parents refused to let me in. It was clear I was in this alone. That night, I slept at my school bus stop, was ignored by everyone on the bus, and thought to myself, even death would be better than this. Truth is, as I share this story with you now, the tears flow on my face as a waterfall. So when I learned that it is not the people who stay average who succeed in life, I was determined not to be average. It's a promise I refuse to break to myself. The first business opportunity, I failed miserably. The goal was to get six who got six who got six, but it never happened that way. Although I didn't become a millionaire with that opportunity, I learned skills that I use even till this day. I'm very thankful for the life I've lived, all of it. Even when the sun seemed to shine on everyone else but me, it was because of those hard times that I developed the strength not to quit on myself. No one else would accomplish my dreams for me. I began seeking hidden knowledge. I began searching for truth. It was years ago when my boyfriend, now my husband, sat me down in his living room and we watched the movie The Secret. I wept like a baby and my heart chakra bursted wide open. This led my jump straight into the rabbit hole and I learned more about the way our society was structured and why. I researched the truth of the foods we ate and their effect on our pineal gland. As my knowledge expanded, it was clear the last thing the forces of evil want is a population of enlightened individuals. They designed alcoholic drinks that gave disease of the mind and body with plastic celebrities so the weak-minded would be influenced to follow in their steps. They developed cancer sticks in all flavors and styles to inflict the masses with a false sense of belonging. They constructed disease targeted to the major organs in the body and schemed a system where they would be at the mercy of their overpriced insurance. The more educated I became, the more I wanted out. You see, when I started to learn that the people who are successful in life are not bionic beings from another planet, I realized I could do this too. Michael Jordan isn't one of the greatest basketball players of all time because he has the perfect record. He's the best because he has missed the most shots in his career than most people are even willing to take. One of my favorite singers, Andrea Bucelli, who happens to be blind, didn't become one of the most recognized tenor voices in the world by listening to critics. He became one of the best by believing in his talent even when others couldn't see it. If there was one tip I could share with you that I know if you do this one thing you will be as successful as you want to be, 
it would be to be comfortable with who you are as you are. I know, I know. Some of you reading this are staring at the screen with a dumbfounded look on your face saying, yeah, right. Even though we have been conditioned to believe the life we want is not easy or attainable, the truth is, it is. Actually, it is very easy. I used to be ashamed of my existence. I would never share my experiences with others in the thoughts they would judge me. I was afraid to be just good old D around people because I thought if my own family mistreated me, how could I expect different from others? You know what though? I was so wrong. And man am I grateful I pushed through the struggles to learn that lesson. You see, it doesn't matter what happened yesterday. It doesn't matter what you thought of yourself in the past. What matters is how you see yourself today. If you can look in the mirror and find just a tad bit of faith in yourself, you can escape into freedom just as I have. It was the moment I said enough is enough. Everything changed from that point on. When my mentor said to jump, I didn't ask when. I jumped further than I ever have. When society said I should be dead, I grabbed a hold of life and refused to let go. Are you like me? Do you refuse to be average? Are you ready to live life without barricades? Is today the day you break free? If so, join me, my friend. I'm looking forward to working with you.